Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Akbar and I'm from Panasonic Middle East Dubai. We are here in Algeria at the Hilton Hotel, which has been the venue for hosting our seminar with the professional videographers and uh, cameramen. Panasonic introduced the new cameras such as the X1000, the GH4 and the WX970 which are all 4K cameras in different profiles. We also had a very nice and a very interactive hands-on session with the cinematographers and the filmmakers. We are all appreciating our products. Uh, the 4K cameras, the X1000, the GH4 and the WX970 are three different profile cameras. The X1000 is basically meant for uh, consumer type professionals who are looking at the professional features in a very compact size camera. The GH4 is basically meant for the filmmakers who are looking at an interchangeable lens camera and the WX970 for the consumers who are very keen on shooting in uh, 4K format even their personal footages and playing back on their 4K TVs. We also introduced the MDH2 which has been the uh, uh, production house uh, gadget. Panasonic looks at working very closely with these professionals to take videography and filming to the next level. They're talking about the 4K and while they ask us a question uh, when there is no demand actually from the market for 4K, what is the point of we investing in 4K? Uh, it was an eye-opener for them when we had the hands-on workshop today and the seminar today thereby highlighting the advantages of recording in 4K and delivering the files in full high definition. We really appreciate the involvement of the cinematographers, filmmakers, then the production house people who had come down here today and they not just had a touch and feel of a product but they also shared their view on Panasonic. They already have a very very positive impression about the brand Panasonic because they have been associated with this product directly or indirectly right from the time they've taken this profession and as such Panasonic is not a new name for them and while we have introduced new cameras they have shown us a hope uh, of working together and taking their professional workflow to the next level and with the formats such as 4K such as the new cameras like the X1000, the GH4 giving them lots of videography advantages they have actually breathed a new hope for the future of filming, videography and cinematography as such. Uh, what people like about the GH4 is that it's an interchangeable lens camera, it's compact body, the current gadgets that they are using which are full frame, uh, this actually gives a head-on competition with the full frame cameras that they are using the so-called industry standard gadgets but the GH4 gives them all what their current gadgets cannot give. There are varieties of features to talk about just to throw a few on your side such as the variable frame rates, the uh, selectable frequencies, high bit rates of 200 Mbps in full high definition, the 4K format itself as such, continuous recording, center marker, master pedestal, focus speaking, zebra patterns and lots of other professional features which actually they lack in the current gadget that they are using. So when they look at GH4, they look at a very futuristic product and all in a compact size, all in a compact body that makes their videography very mobile and actually does not put any barrier for their expansion. So this GH4 has been well accepted in all those markets where we have talked about uh, to the cinematographers, filmmakers and videographers. Not only that, uh, also when they have had their trial of this uh, particular model, they have got to discover new things which they never expected. About the MDH2, the MDH2 has been a very simple production camera. Uh, it's basically meant for weddings, parties or any events that they would like to film to extents where markets we have noted that they also deploy this camera for filming. Uh, they have appreciated the camera's simple operations, the formats of full high definition which is sufficient for their markets. Two SD card slots has been something unique for them. A very, very, very intuitive LCD screen that's at, at a horizontal level to the viewfinder has been well appreciated. The 5-axis OIS is a big relief for them because the camcorder, the MDH2 is most of the time on the shoulders and they have to move from one place to the other and that's that's been a big relief for them not keeping the camera on the tripod all the time but to have, have it taken on their uh, palm or on the shoulders. Now, other options such as the external mic input, uh, uh, external uh, headphone uh, jack for monitoring the audio levels, uh, the two SD card slots, the relay and the backup recording, the 20x optical zoom and then the 50x intelligent zoom is well appreciated in the MDH2 and uh, the size itself as such which is very complementary to the camera, the manual ring, uh, the product as such being made in Japan is all well appreciated in the MDH2. What's new about the X1000, the 4K format itself as such is well appreciated because even though the consumers are not really asking contents and video files in 4K because they don't have a 4K display 
uh, set as such in their house but then they're looking at something of a very high quality when it comes to so the videographers get an opportunity to shoot in 4k with such cameras the x1000 and down convert the files to full high definition which is actually way far better than the relative full high definition shot with a full high definition camera so this gives them not only the relative improvement but also flexibility in cropping uh, panning or uh, downsizing all those videos from 8 megapixel to 2 megapixel other features such as two xlr inputs for the x1000 and lots of manual operations three manual rings and uh, 20x optical zoom uh, two sd card slots a long extended battery that can last for six hours of video recording it's been well appreciated and we look forward to see that their cinematography is on to the next stage on to the next level with panasonic products so we are confident that we will be working very strongly with the cinematographers in the future and we have a long way to go finally i would like to thank you for your valuable time to us see you all again